And it's gotta be Gentleman's Project That's the only thing that's soothing my soul Turn on the TV to Power Rangers, yeah. Welcome again, ladies and gentlemen, to yet another episode of Color Commentary, where we give you views from a different side. Of course, I'm your host, Rashad Waters, the CEO and founder of Block Band Music and Publishing, a company that sells music and instruments to marching bands all across the nation. Today, we'll be talking about one of the most controversial, one of the most talked about movies in recent history, Avengers Infinity War, or as I like to call it, The Wrath of Thanos. What an amazing movie. This is the pinnacle of everything that Marvel has been doing for the last 10 years, the 19th movie that they have put out in 10 years, multiple storylines all weaving together in order to create this movie. And yet it's not even done yet. Amazing cliffhangers in this movie. This movie has been known as the Empire Strikes Back of the Marvel Universe. If you know about Empire Strikes Back, it is one of the more inconclusive uh sad endings to a movie as well and yet interestingly enough it is ranked by most individuals the number one star wars movie of all the movies that they've ever done it goes with, it remains to be seen if this movie is going to have that same type of impact but i can tell you this it has had the largest opening of any movie of all time justice league made about $400 million when it came out last year. However, this movie has made over $600 million just between Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So we are not even counting Sunday night yet. Plus, all over my timeline, all people are talking about is um, this movie. We're not going to do a review on it because we did the review already. So what we're going to do now is we're going to kind of address some of those questions that you guys have out there. You've been asking your questions, trying to figure out what's going on. You've been posting Marvel, why? And we're going to let you know why. Now, real quick, as I bring on my, my uh, co-host here, I'm going to let you know, of course, as obviously I am dressed as Tony Stark in his new, you know, jumpsuit things right here. As you can see, the arc reactor is hanging a little bit lower than usual. That happens with time. You know, gravity kind of affects us, you know, people over time, you know, makes our, makes our stuff hang a little lower here. But yeah, the arc reactor. So let's go ahead and bring on the color commentary crew. First of all, Mr. Charlie Taylor. What's going on there, man? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? What's up, guys? Uh, this, this movie, it uh, made me laugh, made me cry, made me wonder. Just it got me all twisted, all twisted. So Marvel just, just I don't know what they did with this relationship. I'm, I'm, I'm a little scared to go into the next one. They just took so much from me with this one. They, they had all the hope, <laughs> all the dreams. Like, yes, I'm so excited. And then at the end, I was like, what the heck happened? I don't know. I don't know what to do. But uh, yeah, I'm ready to get into this. We got, I got a lot of questions. Hopefully, we can get some. It took fifty percent. It took fifty percent of your dreams. <laughs> so oh, it could be snap. in balance <laughs> right exactly <laughs> and he did you notice he didn't lean with it rock with it he just did that one oh, step but i mean <laughs> i mean seriously Thanos. i mean you got the soul stone you got soul now so you should be able to lean with the rock with it i mean that's probably what the soul stone does is make you lean with the rock with it or something but anyway let's bring on our other co-host fresh from uh baltimore new york I don't think that's right. Maryland? Mr. Uh, Danny J. Quick coming straight from a, a Comic-Con event. Come on, sir. What's going on with you, man? Man, you know who it is. It's your boy, Danny J. Quick, uh, CEO of Fourth Wall Productions. Yeah, we just came from Baltimore, American Maryland with uh, White Comic-Con. Had a great time. Uh, I wanted to be there with y'all at the premiere, but, um, you know, duty call. I had to, had to go sell some books, meet some people, shake some hands, kiss some babies. So uh, we'll get we'll get we'll get out there to the next one, I guess. So, Danny, it looks like uh, it sounds like that you were over there uh, kicking names and taking ass, huh? <laughs> oh yeah. Uh, <laughs> like uh, what's her name? Uh, Mantis. Yeah. Mantis. Right. 
<laughs> yeah, definitely, definitely. We had a good time though. I um I watched the movie on Thursday night. Me and my beautiful wife went out there and watched the movie, and uh, it was just it was just crazy. Uh, I sat there with my mouth open with half for half of the movie, just looking around like, did that just did, did that really just happen? So, <laughs> you know, but I'm I'm ready. I got questions. I got questions. You got questions. All right, let's get into these questions here. Uh, let's see here. Charlie, give me a number between one and six, sir. Six. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, here's our first question. Where did the infinity glove go? A gauntlet. It's a gauntlet, not just a glove. Where did it go? Uh, or, you know, what's happening? We saw it all explode. And I thought, first of all, I thought that was off. That was absolutely incredible writing and and a great visual how they did that that after he used the gauntlet it blew up i mean it really helped you to understand how helpless this situation was because it wasn't like thor could have just reached and grabbed the gauntlet off of um off of what's his name is uh thanos mm -hmm. right, right after it happened and undo it like the glove blew up so it's probably jacked up so basically not only where is it we know thanos has it but like What's uh, what's the status? What's the condition of the the gems? Uh, so, Danny, what do you think, man? I don't know. That was a. I think that was a pretty cool uh, a pretty cool way for them to 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 come out at the end with it being damaged. Um, you only saw it for a split second, but you could tell clearly that it was left hand, right hand, left hand that left it was hand. Uh, damaged, and uh, you know that. Okay, so you're not gonna be able to use that to get to get these people back. Um, but also at the same time, it's good because, uh, you know, Thanos can't use it other places. He can't go anywhere else and, and do that same thing. Um, so I guess the, the dwarf may have put that, um, may have put that into like, put that fail safe in there to, if he used it, you know, that it, that it messed up forever. Um, I don't know. I think, uh, of course we'll find out in the next movie, but. I think that that power, that power, that all that power, you know, no one gauntlet can have all that power. And uh, that's just how it go, man. I'm uh, I can't wait to see the next one. Like I, I told you, I don't really I didn't really like the more I think about this movie, the less I like it. So I'm ready to go <laughs> to the part. I'm ready for Infinity War part two. The less you like it. <laughs> <laughs> what about you, Charlie? What do you think happened to you know, to the stones. What's the condition? I mean, I think the stones are fine. I think the uh, the gauntlet, to me, I mean, having that much power surge through it, I guess I just couldn't handle it. I mean, no matter you know what what they created to hold the hold the stones. Um, I I guess the only question with me, I, it must he must still be able to use it because he got he went someplace else at the end of the movie, and I'm <laughs> sure he didn't fly in a spaceship to get there. So. Either it's still messed up, or he can just, if he, as long as he just use them one at a time, maybe it still works. Um, but you know, it the condition that it looked like when he used all of them together was just too much for that one gauntlet. I guess that's maybe why it self-destructed. But uh, Charlie, that's a that's a good point. You're right because after after the gauntlet exploded, he still escaped. And obviously using the space stone in order to do it. So it couldn't have been completely wrecked. Yeah. So yeah. maybe just mostly wrecked. So that's a good I hadn't even thought about that. So I'm here for. <laughs> 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 yeah, so I think um we'll get it when we get into our predictions, I'm gonna talk a little bit more about what I think happened with that. All right. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's see here. Where is Number the question two. at? One, two, three, four, five, six. Where the heck was Hawkeye this whole movie? So the Russo brothers said that they would explain why Hawkeye wasn't any in any of the trailers. And the he explanation lied. was simple. He's no, he not no, in, no, he's no. Not they, in the movie. Yeah, he's not in the movie. That's why he wasn't in the trailers. <laughs> That's the explanation. <laughs> the runner even go to the premiere of the movie? Was he even out there? <laughs> Remember, he's in anything. He's been in nothing. Like they did a, a a Brady Bunch type of thing, and they had pretty much the entire original uh, Avengers cast singing the Brady Bunch, but for Marvel. 
and he wasn't there. I'm like, I'm be thinking it's like, dude, he needs a new agent. <laughs> but I don't know what's going on. So, so what do you think, uh, uh, Charlie? What do you think happened to Hawkeye? Like, is, is he planning something? Like, what's the deal with him? I mean, based off of what I've heard, it, the Russo said that he has a a I guess a big part to play. I'm assuming in this battle. So he has some secret mission that he's doing. Um, I'm hope I'm, I'm assuming maybe it's gonna have something to do with the uh, um, uh, Captain Marvel portion of it. You know, at the end of the movie, seeing you know you know Fury send that message to her on his old beeper or whatnot is uh that was kind of funny. But um, I like maybe he, he has some type of plan like that goes into action and Fury disappears or gets killed. And he's like that next in line to you know really take take over shield or whatever they're they're calling themselves now to really help protect everybody I, <laughs> right i don't i can't just see hawkeye just sitting at the house with his family while this type of stuff is going on so it just seems like as soon as new york would have got hit at the beginning of the movie he would have been talking with fury about something and fury might have sent them on some type of mission somewhere to to have some type of backup plan that's going to save everything or what they think might save everything. I don't know. That he has to have something, some meaningful, <laughs> some something <laughs> meaningful for him to contribute to this uh, to this movie because he looks way outpowered. But I guess if Black Widow can handle herself against super power people, he should be all right. He got he got distance too. He got range. What's up, uh, Dad? What do you think, man? What the, what happened with Hawkeye? I agree with Charlie, man. I think uh, he's on some kind of uh, secret mission. I think. He's going to play a uh, first of all, I want to say that I think that the whole point of the Russo, like the whole, you know, how in Civil War, they all all the thing they wanted to get to was that point where they did show the portrayal of um, um, Captain America betraying uh, Iron Man's trust. I think the entire reason that they made this movie is because they wanted to do a movie with the original Avengers cast. And they had to figure out how to get back down to only the the the, first, the ones that were left in the wow. first place. So that's why they killed they killed just about everybody else from all no. the except for that original team. Mm -hmm. And you know, Hawkeye was not in this movie because he's gonna play a big part in the next movie. So I think he's off somewhere. He might have been chilling at home because they they did you know mention him earlier in the movie and say that you know him and um he and Ant Man you know they they're on house arrest. So. Maybe we'll see an Ant Man where where Hawkeye is. So, mm. maybe. Yeah. So I think that um he might show up in the Ant Man movie. I think he's definitely going to show up before Infinity or I mean in four whatever the next one is called. I think it's a good chance he'll show up in in uh, Ant Man Wasp, or he may show up in Captain Marvel. But uh, oh, as far as what he was doing, I think uh, I think he was just chilling. And I think half his family get wiped out, if not his entire family get wiped out. I think he's on a revenge tip. I think they're just saying that rumor has it that it's a uh, secret mission. But I think he's straight Hawkeye. He's, gonna, he's about to be Hawkeye like you've never seen before. Like he's just about to be shooting arrows in everybody. <laughs> I have a question though. How, how, how can he be on a revenge trip if he doesn't know what happened? It, it don't matter, man. Somebody's going to get shot with an arrow. The first person to show up at the farm. It's gonna get shot <laughs> with arrow. <laughs> if it ain't Colson, Colson better show up. He might be all right. Everybody else gonna get. <laughs> and what is Shield gonna oh, do man. about this, real quick? <laughs> that should be a question. Okay. Get... What is that? Is a good question. What is Shield gonna do? I don't know. I, I know what they're gonna do about it. They're not gonna do Daily Squad until their season ends. That's what they're gonna do about it. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, right. they, I mean, they're not going to come back and be like, yeah, right before the finale, guys. We're going to have to cut a couple of you guys. So, uh, <laughs> Mac, obviously, it's you. <laughs> and um, Fitz or Simmons, obviously, it's going to be one of you two guys. <laughs> it's not going to be Daisy. You know we're not going to get rid of Daisy. <laughs> no, I'm saying, uh, yeah, I think, I don't know if the people in S.H.I.E.L.D. knew what was going on, because I was watching an episode on, on Friday, and they were like, it was like, did you see what was going on in New York? And he was like, man, I don't even have time for that. So they just like, I don't think they they knew. They clearly didn't know what was going to happen in the in the Avengers movie. So 
uh, yeah, they, I don't think that they're going to be affected by it. This might be, they've been talking about um, parallel, uh, the multiverse theory, you know, for the past couple of episodes. So they might not even be in the same universe as, as, as all of this anymore. We don't know. That's true. They did go in the future and then come back. And according to the way Marvel does things, you really can't travel back to the same past that you came from. You can't travel. If you go to the future, you can't really go back to the exact same present. You end up in a very similar universe, but not the same one. So maybe that's what happened. Maybe they came back to a universe where, you know, um, Thanos never attacked. Who knows? I, I think it is kind of odd. Uh, spoiler alert for those who are watching Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. But it is kind of odd that if Thanos is attacking and at the same time there's another, the whole other huge ship <laughs> also <laughs> over America like at the same time. It's like none of them they don't even recognize each other. Like the ring from Thanos' ship is flying off and he's looking back like, oh, that's, a, that's another ship back there. <laughs> <laughs> what am I doing? <laughs> All right. Six questions. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can Thor die, Danny? I don't think so because he done been through the ringer. This dude's been sh stabbed, uh, blasted with uh, radiation. He he lived through um, holding up, holding that uh, start that thing, the contraption together with the muscles bolt like ah, ah I'm Thor. Right. I am the son right. of Odin. Uh, Holding that thing open and then getting hit by the the the, the star at that close distance. Now I, I don't think Thor can die. Uh, Loki Loki can though. Loki can <laughs> die. If you know that. <laughs> oh, Dude, I don't think Thor can die, but we we definitely know Loki can. He died viciously right at the beginning. So uh, yeah. Hmm. What about you, Charlie? What do you think? No, I don't think he could die. <laughs> I mean, the mug got. I mean, when they were putting the salt, the stone on old boy's face, it's like, okay, it's hurting him, but it's really not doing anything. Because when he came back off, it was like nothing. It was like you put an iron on his face, like it's hurting, but then when it comes off, it's nothing happened on his face. It's like nothing there, but it hurt when it was mm -hmm. on it. So I was kind of weird. I was kind of, uh, I was kind of, no, I, I don't really know. And then when they were talking about him, he was floating in space for like, how long was he out there? Just mm -hmm. hitting meteors and stuff. Then he gets hit with the sun. He's just holding that up like he's like he at, you know, at the gym or something. Just, <laughs> uh, <laughs> did his clothes even get burnt off? I mean, like his clothes is unstoppable too. Like, unstoppable <laughs> clothes. What is he stuff made at? <laughs> oh, man. I think it just he depends. can just take so much punishment and just be fine. So does it does his power like when um I guess what when he was I guess quote unquote dying as as um, Rocket was saying and Groot made his his uh his hammer and they gave him the hammer and then he just got up and was cool. So it's like did the hammer just like rejuvenate his body now like this like is it like a sensu beam or something? It's like ah oh, I'm, I'm back to. <laughs> I'm back right. to regular. <laughs> I'm even strong. He's like a Saiyan. Like anytime he gets beat up and almost dies, he gets stronger. The next, mm -hmm. the next one is that what they? And there's like every battle they get stronger, like as Guardians or something like that. I thought they, I thought that happened on like a shield. Oh, as Guardians. Guardians? Like that. That's the Saiyans. That's the Saiyans no. now. That's the Saiyans, but I heard something about. I thought there was something with them. I no, out. because of the the uh, Warriors Three should be super powerful by now, and you see what happened to them. Nah, so I, um, <laughs> I think it depends with with uh, with Thor because like in Ragnarok he was getting I mean he was getting beat up like um, he had the little thing in his neck is ah you know knocking him unconscious but then in this movie the sun obviously that thing is not more powerful than the sun so I mean I don't know uh, it just depends you know with him Hulk I mean Thor has the power of it just depends <laughs> now real <laughs> quick speaking of uh, Loki. I think he died, but I think they left it open so that he could come back if they wanted to. Like, it might be Tom Hiddleston might be dead, or, or his, his portrayal of the character may be dead, but I can foresee sometime in the future them bringing somebody else in to play Loki, like a younger person, or Loki has been female at, at one point. I can really see that. Here's how I say that they left it open. 
if they really wanted to make sure that you knew that Loki was dead for all time, then when Thanos grabbed him, they should have made Loki appear someplace else, like behind him or nearby, because we all know that's how Loki operates. As soon as you think you got him, he appears right behind you. So all Thanos had to do was grab him, and then Loki appears over here, and then he kills him that way. So you know for a shadow of a doubt, he used his illusion thing, and he got killed. Because with this, I mean, it's the same as him dying any other way. He got, you know, the way he died in Thor 2 was the same type of thing. He got really, really hurt. He got stabbed pretty badly. So what's to say that he couldn't? I think he's dead for the moment, but I definitely think that if Marvel wanted to, they killed him in such a way that if they wanted to bring him back, it could make sense. I think I think he um I think it would be cool for him to come back in the fourth movie just to like bring it full circle because he was the he was the first Avengers you know villain and now for him to come back as kind of one of the heroes I think that would be cool but um our our good buddy Corpulent Geek said if if Odin can die anyone can die and uh, <laughs> I, I think that's a little different but Odin killed himself though. Yeah, Odin Odin like, let himself go, and that's what uh, uh, my my good friend Justin he 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 commented on the page. Also, he said uh, that uh, Odin kind of chose to chose to go. So that's a little right. Bit. The guy playing Odin, the actor oh, yeah. was ready to go. <laughs> 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 he was like, "I'm ready to go." <laughs> Yo, Fifteen minutes. Uh, all right, let's see here. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six. All right, this is my question. I've been noticing a couple of people on Facebook. Uh, they are upset about the fact that Wakanda got attacked. You know, they're like, oh, we just established Wakanda in Black Panther, and now we're already seeing it attacked. Okay, so for those people, I'm speaking to you right now, okay? Couple things. Number one, you got to understand the source material. This movie is based off of not one, but three different comic runs. It's not a particular comic book. It's three different series that happen. The first one is Thanos' quest. And in that one, Thanos goes around the universe to attack random people, the guardian, the, uh, the elders of the universe, in order to get the Power Stones. In the second one, that's when Thanos snaps and he destroys half the universe at the very beginning of that. And so the whole movie, from um, the whole comic book, is based off of them getting that back from him. There's a third one that came out like 20 years later. And this is, that one was, sorry, was called Infinity Gauntlet. This was just called Infinity. In that one, Thanos has a son. He's coming to Earth. He wants to try to find his son and kill him. And this is the very first uh, appearance of the Black Order. And the Black Order goes to Wakanda. So it only makes sense that if you're going to put the Black Order in the movie, if you want to be true to the original source material in any extent, you're going to have them attack Wakanda. The other thing about it is that in the movies, Wakanda was able to repel the forces of the Black Order. And with the help of Thor, they were able to do so in this one. They really were doing a, a really good job of repelling them just with the shields alone. The thing you got to look at, guys, if you're upset about them attacking Wakanda, you got to realize the fact that they actually only, this movie only proved the strength of Wakanda. When New York got attacked, it got completely destroyed. I mean, almost completely destroyed, wrecked, I mean, horribly. Granted, it was a surprise attack. But Wakanda, with Wakanda, only the people died. And that was, and you only saw like some of them die uh, until the Thanos wave got them. But, but before then, there was no structural damage to the city whatsoever. So it should be a good thing that Wakanda got attacked to really show how powerful Wakanda was. What do you think about that, Danny? Yeah, um, I agree with you. I think that it was cool for them to, you know, they did the little sneak attack where, um, what was it, Corpus Glaive, uh, um, you know, snuck in. And, yeah, I, 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 th I thought Shuri was going to get it for a second. Uh, <laughs> that would really hurt me if if Shuri would have got killed when uh, oh boy. Scarlet Witch <laughs> left uh, to, to join the battle. I would have been very upset if Shuri would have got yes. it. But, uh, she, you know, she she held it down out there. She didn't get to. I don't know. I see. That's another thing. I don't know if she got to finish what she was doing. You saw at the end when they grabbed the, the grabbed the stone out of out of a vision's head. That um, he just turned you know black. He might have just you know crashed like a computer. You know when you take the power out of a computer, it crashes. You know. I think I think Vision will be back. They're gonna find a way to do something with Vision. But um, I don't know. I I think that 
I was kind of, you know, kind of torn about Wakanda too. We just got Wakanda, and now you got them in there, uh, in there messing it up. Uh, and I don't know. That's why. So I got my Killmonger shirt on because if Killmonger oh, been there, then he would have figured it out. We could have got Killmonger versus Thanos. He would have. He would have. He would have figured it. it out. He would not made it. <laughs> <laughs> don't do that to Killmonger. He out there with his ancestors. <laughs> Now the one thing we know is we don't want we wouldn't want uh Killmonger to get the the Infinity Gauntlet. No. <laughs> <laughs> we know what he would do. <laughs> oh, yeah, we know what he would have done. <laughs> that rea- just just if he gets that reality stone, it's over. <laughs> mm. what, what what about you, Charlie? What do you think about the attack on Wakanda? I mean, I, I be honest with you, I kind of like the like them fighting out Wakanda because every time I've always seen Wakanda in the comics or just like on some of the other cartoons, they're always showing how powerful they are and kind of like seeing like, okay, well, they're able to stop like aliens from even getting to the city. Like we would have been already, they would have already been messed up in like New York or any other place because we don't have four fields. Right. <laughs> like, four fields do make a difference. <laughs> right. You know, just seeing like so the, the technology that they have um, already built in you know, their, their country, but, you know, I, I like to see, I want, I like seeing that hand to hand combat, you know, on that field, you know, kind of remind me of like a game of Thrones type of thing. All right. Back when the, the Knights and you know, the armies ran right into it and just fought hand to hand combat. So that was pretty cool to kind of see that on a large scale on a Marvel movie. Um, but, you know, I, I, I think it's fine being in Wakanda. I mean, they like, it looked like it showed, it showed me that they are the most powerful um, player on earth. I mean, right. so to me, I would have been more proud. Like, wow, they held their own. Our city is fine. Did you see what happened to New York? Did we see <laughs> what happened to New York? I mean, they made mm-hmm. like five movies just about the destruction on New York. <laughs> right. You know, that's true. That's true. I don't know. I, I'd have been like Wakanda forever type of thing. After I saw like, yeah, they did. They held their own there, especially when Thor got there. When Thor got there, it was over. But, uh, yeah, Thor yeah. Came <laughs> He came in with a new weapon. He look, he was shutting it down. I don't know what that what that joint was made out of. <laughs> That's that realness. Yes. So, so I was cool with it. Cool. All right. Here's the next question. Here, this also was was my question as well. People being upset about the ending of this movie. Okay. I get it. Like, and th- there's three types of people. Charlie and I were talking about this last night. There's people that know, okay, everybody that blinked out of existence, they're coming back. So there's no, uh, as they like to say, there's no stakes. We know they're coming back. So I'm upset because it's not real. They're just going to come back. Okay. Then you have the people in the middle who are like, I right, I know that they died, but we know that they're going to come back. However, how are they going to come back? That's the thing that's, that so you know this got you still focused. It's like man, I don't, the situation just seems so so hopeless. How are they going to come back? And then you get this third group of people, and these are the people I'm talking to right now. That are like, oh no, Black Panther died. I can't believe you killed Black Panther. I oh, can't believe you killed Spider Man. Blah 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 blah. And they're just upset. They're like, oh, I'm done with Marvel, and you know I can't believe it. And I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, like, calm down, like, dude. How do you not know that these people are not coming back in the next movie? Like, do you do you honestly think that they just made a billion dollars off of Black Panther and now he's just gonna not he's just gonna be dead now? And even if they weren't, even if Black Panther didn't make a billion dollars, is it just not obvious that when they kill all these people, they killed off the Guardians of the Galaxy, they killed off Spider Man and multiple people, do you really think they're dead forever? Like, calm down. Just let's find out and see what's going to happen in order to, to get them. So, yes, by the way, for those people who don't know, again, it goes back to the, to the source material. That's exactly what Thanos did is he gained the, uh, the affinity gems and snapped his fingers and made half of them disappear. I liked how they did it. That was great. How, you know, even though I knew what was happening, I, I knew that um, I was surprised. But who died? I was surprised that they took. The, the number of Guardians of the Galaxy that they did, I was definitely surprised that they hook, took Black Panther. I'm glad that they did because that it actually affected me. I'm like, okay, you know, all the non-important people are going to, oh, <laughs> the Panther is like, dang, we're not Wakanda forever, just Wakanda to the end of the movie. And then, um, <laughs> and, 
and then <laughs> we cut off. And then, right. And of course, uh, I think like everybody, when Spider Man died, and he was, and I even my second time watch, second Ooh. time watching it, I I teared up a little bit, man, because how he know, died Mr. was Stark. Just, Mr. Stark. very touching. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kyle so, what do you guys think about Earth. these people? Huh? Kyle's how are you gonna get back to Earth? How are you gonna get back to Earth? Everybody else out there died. All of them gone. How he? How he gonna get back to Earth? Well, you know, I can answer uh, that. The I ship is there. That. No, Thor's gonna get him. You're right. They got, they got to reach Thor. How, He'll reach how him Thor somehow. don't know where he is? How Thor? Thor don't know where he is. Somebody know where he is. Pepper know the where Milano. he is. Pepper no way is right. Uh, Pepper piss. He ain't really, you. Ain't, he ain't been returning her calls. She Pepper, she man. already called off the. Uh, she called off the engagement. <laughs> if she made it through, she called off the engagement. Oh <laughs> uh, man, the Milano is still there. Oh, I'm sure Tony can figure out how to fly the Milano. And plus, Nebula is there. She has experience with those. Well, Nebula was there. That's, that's right. Yeah, she, yeah, she, she, is there. yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah. All right, so what do you think, Danny? I, I know you're one of the. I think you're one of the first group of people. Um, but what do you think about those? What do you think about that yourself? Or what do you think about the third group of people that are so pissed off because the, the superheroes died? Yeah, I think I'm one of the first. That was one of the reasons that I don't that I didn't really like the movie. I like the. I enjoyed watching it. It was great and a great experience. But um, I know that the stakes like the most of it is not going to stick i think some of these people are going to die and stay dead like i want to say loki i mean loki is most likely to come back um but you know the people that died by thanos's hands i think they're going to stay gone uh but the people who got who got snapped out of existence i think a lot of them are going to get brought back and i think it's going to make the impact of the sacrifice in the fourth movie um even you know more poignant um so, I don't know, and uh, I just think I think they just used this movie to get to the fourth movie. We saw where um um what's his name, Doctor Strange, he was doing the he was <laughs> <laughs> doing his thing, you know, seeing seeing into the future. So, um, I, I guess there's a there's a, a plan coming. So there's one way. There's that's the only hope that we got, you know, that his plan you know um goes through and that they do win but he he did seem kind of sad like it was going to be you know, some heavy losses so you never know <clears throat> I, I remember there was something i wanted to talk about and i forgot now you helped me to remember um about basically the people who died and the people who lived if you think about it and i didn't catch this initially so thank goodness to the other reviewers that are out there everybody just like you said danny everybody that lived was basically on the original team um, outside of Okoye, Umbaku, um, sure. War Machine, and a few other people. You know, other than that, everybody, and of course the absence of Hawkeye, everybody than that is from the original team, which to me seems like what they're going to do for number four is there's going to be a handoff, you know, that you have the original team and somehow they're going to sacrifice themselves, maybe not their lives, maybe they'll just retire, but somehow they're going to sacrifice themselves so that they can hand off the baton to the new Avengers, and that might be the name of the fifth movie, who is going to be, you know, Doctor Strange, Black Panther, Captain Marvel, Wasp, and, um, and Ant-Man. You know, those will be the new six people. So, you know, those, those are my thoughts there. What about you, uh, Charlie? What do you think about those people that are upset about, these, about the characters dying? I was one of them people. I was, <laughs> I was highly upset. When I saw Black Panther disappear, I, I guess I was upset because you know it's like, well, they're not they're not gonna kill Black Panther. It's like, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> okay. Um. All right. Well, they they're not gonna kill Spider Man. No, he just came out too. It's like, oh, 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 man, this is bad. Like, what? <laughs> why? Do I, why do I feel this way at the end of this movie? This is <laughs> this is mean, Marvel. Like, why y'all doing this? To, doing this to us? And so. <laughs> I understand why people were mad because I was hot. I was mad, and it, I don't know. I, the movie was good to me. I think the movie was good. I really, I really do like the movie, but it still hurt seeing all that happen. Even if they come mm -hmm. back or they don't come back, it just the fact that that happened. You still get emotional 
when you see some of that type of stuff. Cause it like it went Gamora. Like just <laughs> she first of all, she should have shut her mouth and ran. I, I told right. her I knew that was about to happen. I was like, she better shut up. <laughs> and uh like he just tossed, he's like threw her all the tail down there, just like crying and stuff. I was like, bro, that was that was cold blooded right there. That was savage. That was, that was true. He, he straight treated like his daughter, like the way he grabbed her arm. <laughs> <laughs> like he was dragging her out the toy store, you know. Nah, <laughs> nah! <laughs> yes. <laughs> <Get on us. laughs> but uh, uh, I I guess I guess like now that I've had some days to kind of review it in my brain, like just okay, they had to do this. We had to go through this hurt pain so we can see, I guess, the true power of everybody coming back. On the next one, or at least some of the people come back like that sacrifice, like that, like drop us all the way low. They get us like, oh, the next movie's gonna like, you know, oh, we're so happy now. Um, it kind of reminded me again. I go back to Game of Thrones. I think they kind of take some of the writers or the, the they've been watching that show a lot because at the end of some of those seasons, like they, it's like you just like you like really like a character, right? It's like, oh, this guy's awesome. It's like, man, he's the best. He's the best, and then he gets destroyed on the last episode. And like, oh, he's not he's not gonna come back. Like he just his just head just got chopped off. Like I he was like my favorite character, you know? And uh, he's like, okay, you start building you up on the next season. <laughs> Anybody you start liking on that show, they they might not make it. And they ain't got <laughs> so, no time stone in Game of Game of Thrones either. So <laughs> you get you get ripped, they just rip it out of you. It's like, uh, we built this person up, you rip it away from him real quick. So that's why I kind of reminded me of this. Like I was like, okay, that's there, but you know, they're they're gonna come. Some of these are gonna come back, I, I believe. So, but Charlie, I'm talking about I'm talking about the people who honestly believe like the characters are dead. That's what I'm talking about. Like <laughs> those are just the like, people that that aren't that don't really understand like comic books and comic book movies. You know, I mean, mm-hmm. they just like they come and watch the movies. I mean, you got those people that follow the comics and follow you know all the the new um, information about these type of movies, you know, and that's really their thing. And you got people that like, okay, I like these movies, I like to come and see them. And, you know, I mean, it. I understand them being mad because they don't really know they're coming back. Like they, they, the way that they made them disappear, they don't know about the gauntlets and, and what it can do and what it can't do. They're just, oh, seeing a good movie. So, And, I, then, mm-hmm. and then on top of it, I understand them being mad because it was so – it was done so un- unceremoniously. Like, if you are going to kill a character, they should have, you know, their time. They should have their moment to die. Like, a lot of people are probably like going through the five stages of grief uh, right now because, <laughs> like, yes, we just straight took Spider Man. Like, we just they just got we just got Spider Man back too. Just like, got him. We just got Spider Man back, and you're gonna kill him now, like. So I understand people being upset about that, but like we we all know that some of them at least are going to come back. So I'm not too bad. I'm but too bad. but Daddy, that's exactly what I'm talking about. Everybody that everybody that died by Thanos's hand, other than Heimdall, because he just was just <laughs> they just <laughs> everybody else that died by his hand died ceremoniously. You know. Mm-hmm. Uh, Gamora, it took at least a minute or two to grab her and throw her off the side, that whole thing. You know, Loki lifting him up and slowly choking him to death. You know, but with um, everybody died from the Thanos wave, because it wasn't any big thing other than Spider-Man dying, to me, it should be obvious that they're mm-hmm. coming back, or else it, it would have been much more, it would have been a much bigger deal of each one of them dying. You know <laughs> what I'm saying? Yeah. Well, I guess one thing, I mean... Saying that is obvious that they're coming back. I mean, what's the point of the movie if you just don't believe anything in the movie? I mean, to me, it's not going to be worth going to watch. It's like, okay, there, nobody's really going to die. It's all coming back. I'm like, you want it to be believable. You want to feel like nobody's coming back. Not just like, oh, well, I read the comments. They're all going to live anyway, so it doesn't really matter. It's like, to me, that's not really worth a you know a two hundred some million dollar movie to put out. And that's is that the premise? You know, it's not very good writing if that's the case. So. Being being that people are upset, they, that means that the directors, writers, you know, actors, they did a really darn good job to make you feel like they're not coming back. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but I, I guess I've been trying to put myself in that situation. I guess if it were like um, 
what is it? What is it? The um, Harry Potter series. Like, I, I don't really know a whole lot about the Harry Potter series. So maybe if I watch like the last one, um, and I watched it, and a bunch of people died, and I don't really have any connection to these characters, but I'm watching them throughout the movie, like, oh, I kind of like that person, I kind of like that person, or maybe I've seen two movies, you know, I kind of like that person, and then they all died at the end. Maybe I would feel like, dang, like, how the heck did that happen? But I still don't think I would fall for that, not in the way that they died. That, that's all that I'm saying. So I just want to tell people, please understand that everybody that died that way is coming back. So just, you know, Chill. It's all right. What is the title of the next movie? Danny? Um, I think it's going to be um, Avengers Infinity War uh, Funeral Directors. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be just a bunch of uh, slow, sling, slow singing and flower bringing. It's going to be a whole just two hour montage of funerals for heroes and and people are just gonna, I don't know like uh he they kill so many people in this movie um I think I think I I like the, the what you got um um Justin one big nerd just commented he said that it'll be uh, Avengers for no return so that could be no cool. return, <laughs> no return. <laughs> um, the new Avengers will be good though if they yeah. I to let the new Avengers. I mean, that's that you know, kind of gives a connotation that the old Avengers aren't coming back, and that you know it, they're starting a new leaf. So I like that. I like that title. Um, no, the new, the new Avengers? Avengers. I'll say that. I'll say that for the fifth movie, though, not the fourth one. Oh, well, they need to just skip over the fourth one and get to the. No, I'm just playing. They. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I think it would be cool for them because they're gonna have to go find. You know, they they're bringing in Miss Marvel. They're gonna have Ant Man and the Wasp. Um, Shuri might become the Black Panther. You never know. So they might go to the new Avengers. They're gonna have to bring somebody in to uh, to to fight Thanos to to do something because the team that's left ain't gonna be able to do it. We know Hawkeye ain't about to do nothing with no with no arrows. They gonna have to find some. He gonna have to, have to find some kryptonite or something to do something. Oh, that's a different. That's a different universe. My bad. That's I don't. I don't see why he couldn't do nothing with no arrows. I mean, I don't. That, uh, what's her name? Gamora killed, and it wasn't a real reality, but Gamora killed Thanos in fake reality. And yes, that could have been fake. Like, he could have just made that happen. But what gives credence to that is the fact that Gamora snuck on, I mean, sorry, Nebula snuck onto the ship. And this is what Thanos said. She almost killed me. Mm -hmm. So somehow he can be killed. Somehow. Mm -hmm. So... To me, if he can almost be killed, it's possible that that Hawkeye's got an arrow that he can do it with. And Hawkeye actually has killed the Incredible Hulk, which nobody could do. But he was—I mean, he he shot him when he was Banner. But I think yeah. he shot him in a particular I'm about place. To say, I was like, did he really? Did he really kill him? But here's the thing: kill the him. thing about it is, people have shot at Banner before, you know. But if you if you shoot at Banner, he's just going to turn into the Hulk. That but that's the thing. You know, that he even says that in the movies. But I think that um, Banner told him exactly where to shoot him. And Hawkeye, if you tell him where to shoot, it's done. And, you know, so as far as like Thanos, if he needs to put an arrow in, a, in um, Thanos' eye socket, he can do it. I mean, he did it with Loki. Just Loki caught the arrow. But he shot him that mug right in the face. And if, arrow, if Loki hadn't caught it, he, he would have been shot in the face. And the arrow still exploded. So who knows? Maybe he's got something that he could take out there. I'm, no, he doesn't. He doesn't. <laughs> What's the name of the move, new movie, Charlie? The Revengers. The Revengers. <laughs> <laughs> take that. Uh, take that. Thor. You want some revenge? You want some? Revenge? <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> um, I'm not sure. It's, it's. I mean, they say. I mean, in game is what I'm hearing, but. Uh, and I, I guess in my point of view, I, as long as it's showing, it, it just gives closure to this story, you know, and it just brings everything all together. That's all I'm hoping for for this movie. So they can, I guess they are bringing everybody back that's from the first Avengers. They're all still alive, right? Yeah. None of them died. Everybody. Okay. So if they're doing that. And it looks like they're gonna. Are, I guess are we going back in time on that next one, or those were just fake? 
I think we're gonna go back in time. You think we're gonna go back in time? All right. So mm -hmm. I don't know. It's gonna be something like the family. It's, it's gonna be it's gonna be something like everybody's back together again type of thing. Like you know, unity type of thing. Um, because they never they never fixed the Iron Man Captain America thing. We right. saw that was still mm -hmm. fresh to Iron Man. He wouldn't mm -hmm. even call him when New York is getting destroyed. So <laughs> did they share, I, I don't know. Did they even share a scene. They didn't even share a scene in the movie. Did no, they? They that, didn't share one, a scene. that one. He, he oh. was going to call, and then he was like, "I can't do it." And then he dropped the phone, and Banner's like, "I'm gonna call him. I'm gonna call him right now." So right. <laughs> they're going. <laughs> They're gonna need to to jail that. So some type of um, reunion, some type of I don't know, coming coming to Jesus moment. They're gonna have to have yeah. now that Bucky is gone. Now that Bucky is gone, he can he can kind of relax over that. We stuff. can be friends again. It's like <laughs> my, my Bucky is gone. I need a new friend. Oh, oh Falcon's gone too. Back, but but Bucky got to stay dead. I'm sorry. Yeah, Bucky. Not... Right, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Bucky will come back. Like his arm, his arm even disappeared. Like ain't that a new arm? Like, that's my brain. How it disappeared? <laughs> so, oh boy! Yeah. What about you, Rashad? All right. Next question here. Oh, and I, I like the end game thing too, or Avengers Family Reunion. All right. So, what does the Soul Stone do, <laughs> Charlie? That was Danny's question. Is what does the Soul Stone do? I just think people. I think it gives people the ability to dance. You know what I mean? I mean, so you know, you get to dance, you get cool hair. You know, get waves or boxes or something like that. Maybe you can rap. You can sing a little bit. We never saw get. We never saw Thanos get the ability to use that. But now he's chilling on his farm. You know, maybe we'll see a little bit of him use his little soul a little bit. What What you think? So close. Should have closed, <laughs> should have closed the closed the movie with him activating the soul gem, and then like Sam Cook start playing or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> they would really piss people off with that. That would even be worse. It may no. be a, a revolt or something. Like, like, look, I want my money back. I want. I don't. I want my money back. I don't want like that. Screen. Play sexual. <laughs> play sexual healing real quick. I've been uh -oh. really trying, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Like that's what I was saying. I don't know. I still don't know what the soul. We're gonna spend all this time trying to figure out where it was. You know, it's off out on the planet with Red Skull. I like that they brought back Red Skull. That was dope. Like that reveal was really dope to me uh, to see him show up, but still, like I don't know what the what the Soul Stone does. It didn't explain it. They just said, "Oh, there's a sacrifice for it." Um, I guess it can kill anybody. I don't know, but you can kill anybody with any of those stones. Any of those stones can kill people, but mm. I don't know. They they just didn't. I don't think they explained it well. Like, what does it do? Can you reach all the souls, and you know, or like, can you like discern? different souls i don't know i didn't i didn't understand what it did so that's I'm, that's one of my questions they need to answer that in the next movie well the soul stone is is alive it's the only one that actually has a consciousness and it's a and you could actually go inside the soul stone so it's a possibility that instead of all of the people being dead that they actually go to the soul stone that's a possibility so instead of, you know, Black Panther and the whole crew just not being in the whole first half of the movie, maybe they wake up in this um, surrounding where everything is orange around them. And there's trillions, I guess it's trillions of people there because it's half the universe, you know, but no, mm -hmm. that's maybe what's happening there. What do you think, Charlie? What's the soul stone do? Um, make you kill your family members? Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know. Um, that, I guess it touches into that emotional portion that you know we have to have to feel as a, a I guess a, a being. Maybe it just taps into the truth about somebody's spirit, and they that's the only way they can activate everything. I don't know. Maybe it connects all the gems together, so it can can actually do what you want it to do. I I, I still don't know what it does. I'm just kind of just pulling something out of the air. Uh, you know, they left a lot to be. <laughs> You know a lot of details out in the movie, so I guess they're gonna hopefully clarify that next movie, maybe, or maybe with some of their their comics before the movie. Okay, I just got two more questions, guys. Two more questions. Two more questions for the fans. I know you guys are sending your questions by mail, but it didn't get to me in time. Uh, let's see here. Why was the Hulk scared 
And what is this is the same question. And what is he going to do to make up for it, Daddy? I don't know, but he was he got punked at the beginning of the movie. Your boy uh, Thanos straight boxed him up. He hit him with that doop 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 doop. doop. <laughs> I ain't never seen Mike, nobody. He, hit hey, Daddy hit him with that Mike Tyson punch out. <laughs> yeah, <hit him. laughs> boop, boop, boop. <laughs> uh, knocked your boy, my, knocked your boy out, and then uh, the whole rest of the movie, he didn't even want to show up no more. The band was like, "Look, man, I'm uh, come." Uh, you can see his neck turning green. He was trying to get the Hulk come out, and the Hulk was like, "No, I'm not doing it. I'm not fighting Thanos ever again." This dude is the he's who's bad. Thanos is bad, and uh, <laughs> uh, Hulk said, I, "I'm not doing it." So hopefully, uh, we get a. a we get a dang on a resolution for that. Um, Justin said that was his biggest problem with the movie is now how the Hulk was so shook. You know, we never seen the Hulk like that. Like I can't remember seeing him like that in a in a in a TV show and in, in animation and in comics or anything like that. Uh, I I don't know, but I I think I like that about the movie. That was one of the few things that I really did like. Um, Hulk and Banner were like. The, the, the characters that actually had like a story in the in the movie a lot of other characters mm -hmm. didn't have any story at all spider-man was just like oh i'm gonna go oh i'm an avenger now and you know he disappeared then you know a lot of the other characters didn't have uh an arc in the story but the hulk did banner i mean Brooke banner did he you know mm -hmm. decided to, to fight even though he wasn't the hulk he decided to to do it himself he decided to overcome that you know okay these guys are bigger and stronger than me but I'm gonna fight anyway because this is what I believe. So I think that was I think I like that. I didn't, you know, I, it was cool to see uh, Hope Hope being a punk because he was definitely being a punk. Uh, <laughs> he said, "I'm not I'm not fighting Thanos. I'm not even gonna fight the um, the Black Order dude. What was this what, Obsidian Cole? He came in. Yeah, I'm not even fighting Obsidian. him. I'm not fighting none of these none of these aliens. Forget <laughs> it." But, <laughs> Yeah, he, he went straight uh uh Friday, you know, when your boy got knocked out and his dad showed up, he was like, No, no. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, nope. no. <laughs> uh, uh, what do you think, Charlie? Well, what's up with the Hulk, man? I have what uh, what's he yeah, gonna he do? He better do something because he got straight <laughs> he got those taken from him. If you know what I mean, as men, wow. they got snatched. Because <laughs> uh, what's the name hit him with that two piece on that ship, and it was it was all she wrote. Like th like Hulk was like, "Dang, I, that really hurt." I don't think <laughs> I'm gonna go back to Banner. Like if you if you decide if you're fighting, you know, you're fighting Thanos and then you go back to Banner. It's like that's basically saying I'm going to die. Like you you you're not even gonna try anymore. Like as Banner dies, that means Hulk dies, right? So he yeah. just he just was scared enough that he he don't even want to exist anymore. I mean, mm -hmm. I, that's that's what I got. Out of. I don't know what was up with the Hulk. I thought it was interesting. I can't say I liked it, but I would like to see him kind of come out like and still you know try at the end and maybe still fall and like have to like regroup on a on a later movie to like just maybe turn to a different type of Hulk or. Get the uh, what's the when he gets like really strong, like the uh, rage yeah. one, yeah, the world, 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 hope, yeah, like he gets he basically taps into that basically by being beat, he keep getting beat by Thanos over and over again, that just enrages him. Like, and maybe that next movie he just like turn on and is able to mm -hmm. take him out, but uh, because <clears throat> if they, if they would have had him at the end of the movie, I mean, it wouldn't have been going to this next movie. They just needed yeah. him and Thor. Him and Thor would have took care of everybody. Yeah. <laughs> so Thanos, Thanos would have walked in there and got beat down because Thor would have hit him in the chest with that hammer, and and Hulk would have ripped that arm off. So <laughs> I think them two together would have took would have took uh, Thanos out at the end of the movie. But I guess that's why they had to, you know, make him scared and just have Banner in the. You know, on the suit of armor. Somebody said they they spent all the CGI budget on Thanos. So that's what I was thinking. I said that, I, I said that to Rashad after the movie. I was like, the CGI budget was completely wiped out. <laughs> um, here's my thing. I think, I think everybody's missing out on a key point here. 
the key thing about it is that if you go back to Thor Ragnarok, Hulk is talking to Thor. And Hulk is saying he does not want to go back to Earth. People hate him on Earth. So yes, he absolutely get destroyed by Thanos. And also, don't forget about the fact that Heimdall, when he sent him, it's not like he beamed um, the Hulk like right back like on Earth. Like <laughs> I feel like he beamed him back like in the atmosphere, and then he had to fall, you know, like another couple miles you know, uh, before. So that's an extra hit that he took on top of that, you know, that only made him feel even more psychological about it. But the thing about it is, I think that his thing is also the fact that Bruce is like, all right, I need you to come back. And he's like, no, man, like, I'm not coming back on Earth. They hate me here on Earth. Like, last time I was on Earth, I wrecked this whole building. You were pissed about that. Like, I'm not even trying to deal with that. Which could open doors for World War Hulk in the future. It's like, if he gets, like, if Thanos smashes him down again and he gets really pissed but he gets so pissed that he can't control it now they have to fight the hulk you know what i mean so i i think they've already done planet hulk in a way this could be their way of doing that and i think that marvel does a great job of laying the seeds for things that are going to come up in the future so so this could be war war hope that's coming i think all right last question guys and obviously the most important question what does the future hold? How are they going to get out of this situation? What the heck is going to happen? What about the scrolls? So, Charlie, what do you think, man? Like, what's the future, man? I think... How do we get out of this? some reason, I just got a feeling that that uh, after that um, Guardians of the Galaxy 2 in, uh, end credit scene, when they talked about Adam Warlock, I got a feeling he's going to do something. I think that... I think the... the the director said that he's not going to be in this movie, but I just think he plays too big of a part in the actual comic to not have him mm -hmm. off with someone with Thanos. Like you think he lied? You think Marvel lied again? <laughs> yes, I do. I mean, they lie on every trailer. Liars. That's what they lie on the trailers all the time. <laughs> they just keep continuing to lie all the time. So I can see, I can see them, you know, having Adam Warlock or somebody. Yeah, I'm gonna say Adam Warlock because that. I don't think they're going to do anything with Silver Surfer because they didn't have the rights yet. But use him, maybe like that Silver Surfer character in the comics um, to basically bring that balance that, you know, everybody needs to, you know, change the outcome of uh, Thanos. Basically, maybe he'll get that gauntlet and he'll just know exactly what to do. Kind of like how um, when they made uh, Vision on Ultron, it was like he was like that missing key. So go ahead and defeat an, uh, Ultron. Like he just knew everything already about him. Like he just came out of the blue. You didn't really know who he was, but just all right, let's go. We can beat him now. So I think mm -hmm. something like that may happen. Um, to kind of change the you know change the dilemma, change the story at the end of that movie to really bring it for the heroes to win. So some something right. like that, some radical. Now I'm gonna uh, real quick. I'm gonna comment on the whole Silver Surfer thing. One thing I didn't think about when we did our predictions is that you cannot, you absolutely cannot introduce Sil uh, Silver Surfer in any way whatsoever. It doesn't have anything to do with Fox. It's the fact that you cannot introduce him as a good guy. Silver Surfer, from the perspective of the human race, has to be a bad guy first. You can't introduce him as a good guy first because Silver Surfer's pr initial primary role is that he is a herald of Galactus. You cannot introduce Silver Surfer without introducing Galactus. Now, once you've introduced the two of them, then you can make Silver Surfer a good guy. But you can't you can't use him as a bad guy. I mean, a good guy in any way uh, at all. So I agree that it may be somebody that plays that same type of role. But this is more so for the people watching the video that think that Silver Surfer could be involved in the future. And I'm going to tell you, nope. Not in a good way. Not first. Not at first. You're not going to want to see Silver Surfer coming. <laughs> yeah. What about you, Danny? What about the future, man? Um, I think that, so I've heard, I don't know how true this is, but I've heard that um, the Ant-Man whole, the whole quantum realm thing, you know, how they're, they're, they're going to find Janet Van Dyne and all that good stuff. I think that they're going to use that to um, go back in time since we, you know, we don't have access to the, to the um to the time stone and all that stuff i think they're gonna find a way him um 
Tony, um, Bruce, Shuri, you know, they're going to get what get together and do their sciencey stuff and 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 figure out a way to get back to uh, <laughs> uh, Justin said Stan Lee is going to save the world. I'd be happy with that. I'd be happy with that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, be cool. but I think they're going to uh, find a way to use the quantum realm to, to go back in time or to, you know, I hope they don't bring people from the past into uh, this future. But I think it will be. I think that's what they're gonna end up doing is um, using that quantum realm stuff um, from Ant Man to um, to manipulate time some kind of way and um, and save some people or go into the future. And I don't know. I have no clue. I honestly have no clue. I don't think I've had long enough to think about it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I feel, I pretty much feel like Doctor Strange was doing something. Like Doctor Strange was like, you know, he had the the rock in his hand, and I'm gonna use my telekinesis to make it to make it move move mm -hmm. the rock was flying right but what you didn't see is his hands his hands is over here you know woo, 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 doing something to make you know to do something to that time stone to make it still work because i think it's going to be a big deal the fact that the gems even though thanos was able to escape with the space gym i don't think that the, the gems work except for the time stone somehow they're gonna they're going to get to nebula because Nebula is going to know where Thanos is so that they can get the uh, the gauntlet. But none of the stones work except the time stone. Use the time stone to undo something. However, the problem is they're going to run into problems with Nebula. Because if you read the comic book, the issue is the fact that they get the gauntlet from from Thanos because he's not paying attention. But it's Nebula that gets the, the gauntlet. And Nebula is completely unbalanced because of how much that she's been tortured. And she could potentially destroy the whole universe, not just the people in it. So I think that they have definitely laid that. And I think they did a really good job of having her play that part. But it's a mislead. Because if you don't know anything about the comic, you're not paying attention to Nebula at all. Her part is so small, but she's going to be the most important part of movie four. You mark my words because I've been wrong every time. All right, so let's go ahead and uh, let's go ahead and close this up here. Let's get your closing thoughts, man. I know uh, Charlie, you just had a major event. I was with you there at that event, man. Why don't you go ahead and close it out on that, there, sir? Yeah, man, we had had a a, a great time. Cafe's put on a great party. Um, had had a lot of guests out there. We had Iron Man, not Iron Man. We had Spider Man, Captain America. And two, we had two Black Panthers. I guess we had Black mm -hmm. Panther, uh, T'Chaka and T'Challa there. <laughs> <laughs> so it was lots of fun. The kids had a ball. It was good. That, I guess it was good for us to do this event after this movie because most of the kids were like sad after the movie. <laughs> so mm. when they got to our our second part, it was all fun and balloons and they're getting taken pictures and getting face painted and all the type of stuff. You know, it kind of cheered them up and they was like, yeah, yeah, we love Marvel again. So, you know, hopefully we helped. We helped a little bit with the uh, with the counseling session, you know, after this type of movie. But you know, we had a great time. Um, this is probably our, our last big event, but we're going to be looking to do uh, a couple more things with some of these other movies upcoming uh, with uh, the solo movie and Deadpool and Venom. So let's look out for that um, on the site and on our color commentary page. But outside of that, you guys take care. All right, and uh, Mr. Uh, Danny. I see you looking around for something. What we, what we about to see? Oh, nothing. I was looking. I was trying to find some Ace Blade. You see, I got my Ace Blade right here. This uh, this young man right here, because my Kickstarter for the the final uh, Ace Blade, the hundred page uh, Ultimate Edition of the Ace Blade comic starts next weekend on um, Free Comic Book Day. So we're actually giving away Ace Blade number one over on our website www.fourthwallpros.com. I will put the link in the description down there. And if you put in the promo code uh, views, since you watch our show, uh, you put in the promo code views, you'll be able to get that uh, comic book absolutely free. So I'll send you over there and y'all can get that. Check that out. And then if you like it, you can get the full story um, next Saturday, May 5th on our Kickstarter for the 100 page edition. But other than that, I'm going to use the time gem to just skip forward to 2019 and then... Uh, <laughs> So I can see what happens in the in part four. But until then, stay vigilant, my friends. I'm out. Dan, you about to be like. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
<laughs> I know exactly what happens. I'm not seeing the movie now. <laughs> Thank you again for watching our episode. That has been our episode. I'm glad that you guys were set with us. I hope we can answer some of your questions, touch on some of your topics. If we didn't, go to the Color Commentary group on Facebook right now. Go there right now on Facebook and become a, a member and then ask your question because we talk about things all the time. Sometimes we post written stuff. Sometimes we post videos. So check it out and we'll make sure to answer your question. In addition to that, go down to the description and you can see links to our other playlists where you can see all of our other things. You can check out our predictions and see how well that we did there. And as usual, remember that you got to subscribe to survive. Thanks again for what, what's going on, Charlie? What, what's happening with you over there? Why are you laughing? I was, I'm looking at the uh, <laughs> the chat over here talking about <laughs> What was it Corporal Geek? <laughs> no, I'm sorry. You know about his kids made him miss everything, and then one of y'all said kids are the worst. <laughs> it was funny. Yes, kids, <laughs> kids make me miss things too. Yes, thank God I saw the movie a second time. <laughs> well, thanks again for watching a episode of Color Commentary, where we give you views. And it's gotta be. Guys, are what ha what happened? Are oh man, guess I'm the only one that made it. Peace. And it's gotta be That's the only thing that's soothing my soul. Turn on the TV to. Turn